Hi guys, um, change of plans. I, I redid the background. You can't really see the colors, but, but there's a lot of really nice turquoises in between and greens and light blues. So um, if the, this doesn't pop up on the uh, video, I'll, I'll make a picture. But um, I wanna try something new. I've been looking through these art books and uh, there was this really cute technique that I liked and uh, that's what I'm going to try right now. So it has to do with, and they didn't do that, but I thought I, you know, um, I thought I'd just incorporate two, two things. So I'm going to do the alcohol background. And right down here you can see that I made, um, this has to be like a flower pot. So I'm going to put that on there like that. And then go over it like this. And I wanted to do this um, this week, but I couldn't find the thingy that I need. Don't you just hate it that you have something in mind and um, you want to do it and you know you have the uh, equipment for it, the tool. And you just can't find the tool anymore. <laughs> That's really... Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. And the thing is, you know, when you... Over here, you want to um, order something. Uh, because of the uh, COVID, it takes so long to get here. And then I don't want to do it anymore. Because I want it right away. I don't want to wait so long. You can't go to the shops because everything's closed. So, okay. Here we have the table. Here we have the flower pot. Now, I have to get something with a stiff bristle, I think. I think that's going to work because I want really little cells. The really tiny ones, so I'm going to try this. If this is going to work, yeah, it's working. Okay, let that dry for a little bit. Just a tiny little bit down here. Okay, that's starting to look really cool. Now if it only dries like that, I'd be a really happy camper. Up here a little. Because I want that, uh, a lot of those uh, little cells, I really need those. We'll just see how that works. Now we're going to let this dry. And I'm going to seal it with um, my acrylic binder. We'll see how that works. Okay, be right back when this is dry and when I've sealed it. Okay, so uh, before I'm going to seal it, it's dry right now, so that worked out. As you can see, there's uh, a lot of tiny little things going on. But before I do that, before I do um, the binder, I want to get something on the, this pot. And I'm going to use a little stencil. Let's see which way is up. That's way is up. And I'm going to put the stencil on here. Uh, it's not bit really big enough, but we'll uh, we'll have to do. I think it'll work. So just on the pot like that, and then I need something like paper. I think paper, or maybe a sponge. Nah, paper. And then I really need to hold it tight. But how are you guys doing? So, um, there's still no, uh, ooh, that's not going to work. I'm not getting really, that's too, uh, it's a little bit too thin to do that. So we're going to put some more paint in there. Uh, still nothing is, um, 
nothing uh, going on at work. It's still the same thing. They took my money and they're not giving it back. But they better before next week. I got a lawyer for the third time, which is ridiculous. And um, they have to come back to me um, Monday or Tuesday with what their what the plan is. But they better have a good plan because it's starting to really annoy me. And this is not working. And I think it's because um, there's a layer of binder on it, so it's not really getting. Let's see if I do this, but that'll probably get it under the uh, stencil. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. So um, we'll see what happens. Uh, Monday, Tuesday. Oops. Gonna do this a little bit. But I can tell you, it does a lot with you. You know, health-wise. Uh, I had these heart palpitations and now they're just getting worse they don't care what they do to people you know companies they don't they don't really care doesn't matter if they get you really upset it's all about the money and the thing is they don't even have to pay me anything because it's getting paid by some insurance thing so th I don't cost them a cent but they're making my life a living hell they really are. Every time I have to go to those lawyers and then they have to send a, a letter. It's really ridiculous. So, okay. I'm not sure where this goes. Let's see how this worked. Ooh. Gotta peel it off really carefully. Oh, that's pretty. You can't see it, but if you look up close, it's really, it is pretty. So that's okay. That'll work. Because this is just the, the, the underpainting. Now I'll, I'll, I'll give you a, a, a small little uh, idea of what it's going to be. I have to fill in a little bit here. And down here too. So the deal is, <clears throat> first I'll show you that up close, really up close. Let's see if we can get you really up close. See, it, it has a little pattern. So that, that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted a little pattern. <clears throat> so the thing is that you, you do a background and what you do is just put all the colors on there, what you like, because you're going to be painting uh, flowers. So you just make a really, really busy background. And when after you do that, then you come in with, um, first you draw what you want, so the flowers and the, the, the leaves and the stems, you draw them on, and then you black out or white out the background. So then the flowers, the leaves, the stems have this popping through. Um, I think I might try to uh, get a few examples. So if I do, they'll be, I'll cut them in right here. And um, so if you've seen the example, you know what I'm going to going to do um, it's ju it's just a, a, a tryout thing and for me this is important because um some people you know they they see something they really like uh, they get all set up they, they do all the the you know the the mixing of the paints and they sit there and in their mind 
they're building up to something so beautiful because they've seen it and they want to make it. So that's fine, but usually art doesn't work like that or you have to have so much experience and you have to be so talented that if you see something, you're not going to be like off the go, you're going to make something extremely beautiful. Sometimes you have to, like I'm doing right now, this is a test piece only to see, you know, which order should I do things in. So if you just start small like this one, because the technique I'm going to do is really um, at best on a really big canvas, but I'm going to do it in small because I want to see how it works. I want to see how I have to build up this painting. So, um, and I, of course, I wanted to try this underneath, which they didn't do. They just did a lot of colors on the, uh, on the background, uh, really thin and sort of water-like colors they put on there. And then they did their flowers and things, uh, you know, out on top of it. But I want to see, incorporate the alcohol with acrylic to this thing. See how that works out. Now, I really, really like the colors. I like this um, down here. This bit I really like, and I'm, I'm already getting new ideas for another piece, but we have to finish this one first, right? So um, I have to let this dry. And of course, here at the bottom, this is gonna be the table, or it has to resemble the table, so I'm gonna do something to that too. But it's all about, you know, just seeing what the technique is, how far you can go with it, how you have to build it up, and then once you have done one, you'll know how to uh, progress to a bigger canvas. So that's sort of how normally an artist would begin on a new technique and, you know, try to wrap their head around how to do it. So if you're one of those people that, you know, see something and make it straight away and think, ah, shit, it, it isn't as cute or as beautiful as I thought, Maybe that's the problem. Maybe you should start small and sort of, you know, learn how to do the technique first and then go big. Because I'm, I'm sure if I were to go like a meter by a meter and do this and it doesn't turn out like I want it or I forgot a step or two or I got to, the steps mixed up or something like that, you know, I would just throw in the towel and think, you know, let's just do something else. But you know, it's it's a shame to do that because just start small, learn the technique, and then go big, right? Okay, guys, um, I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to then cover it up with um, a binder, acrylic binder. It's a sort of a sealing method to seal it. And then I'm going to paint, uh, or no, I'm going to draw the leaves and everything I want on it. And then we're going to go and see what happens next. So I'll see you in a bit. Love you all to pieces. Okay guys, I have uh, done uh, two layers of acrylic binder uh, to seal it off. And right now I am going to do the leaves. Now I can draw leaves freehand, that's no problem. But I was thinking maybe some people will have um, difficulty making leaves. So what you can do, is take um, a thin piece of cardboard or thick paper like this. You fold it in half like that and you make a leaf. Now this is not difficult. See that? There you have your leaf. So that's one. Can't use that anymore. And we'll make a small one. like this one this one has a little pointy thing on top do i like that no i don't i don't like the pointy thing so i'll take that off so now we have a little leaf and i think we might need a bigger leaf mm, yeah we'll make one just about as long as this paper is just to give it a little bit of variation we're gonna take it from up 
Okay, now we have a big leaf. So we have our three leaves. And what you need is a sort of a, a acrylic marker that would be best. Uh, yeah, I think you have to have to do that. Oh, wait a minute. Now, of course, we're going to make stems also. So what you can do is get your paper and get a thicker, maybe a felt tip like this one, if it works. And we're going to make something that's come, coming out of this pot. So it's going to go a little bit like that. And this one's going to go like that. And a small one down there. So the bigger one will go like this. And we'll have one like that. And we'll have one like that. Now, this is only, you know, if you... If you're not really confident that you can do that freehand, you could use this. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. This is just like a sort of a guideline. And the whole thing about this type of painting is you don't want to have um, really clean, clean sort of a, a pattern. You don't want that. It has to be a little childlike even because that's the charm of this type of painting so that's why I'm sort of just you know <laughs> cutting it with no um, sense of um, going along the lines or anything and it's a little bit jagged which is nice because that's what we're looking for so that's that one I'm gonna come right back and all you need for this is, like I said, a little bit of stiff paper. So now we have the stems. We'll just keep that there because, of course, we have to make the flower petals. So now when we put this one in, that's nice. We have room for a flower up there. This one we're going to put, eh, maybe not, maybe put this one here, okay, like that. We'll have room for a flower up there, and we'll put one down here. That looks kind of, you know, <laughs> sort of uh, quirky. So then you just get your acrylic marker and you go right around it. That's kind of easy. And you don't have to have uh, really tight lines. That's not what it's about. So you can do it a little jiggly. All you need is these boundaries because we're going to do something to it. So this one. And now the acrylic marker is really something. Um, I was really, I almost pushed the button for one of those really big sets of Posca's, Posca markers because I think they are really the best. Um, but they have a lot of sizes so you have this is a posca but this is a really tiny one this is a 0 0.7 millimeters then you have this one this is a bullet shape this is a 0 0.9 to 1.3 millimeters and then you have on oh no, that is also bullet shaped is this also bullet yep bullet I haven't even opened that one. I just used to buy some, you know, just, uh, oh, this is a bigger one. Um, yeah, this is also bullet shaped, but this is 1.8 to 2.5, and it's also still in the wrapper, and it's a gold one. But you have these in so many different sizes. See, this, is, this bullet one is 0 0.9 to 1.3, but I have here a bullet one that is... 0.7 so the thing is you have too many and if you want to have them all see that that's the bullet shape and this is sort of the the one that you you know you can press but if you want them all the problem is it's so freaking expensive really really expensive I think if you bought them all you'd be close to 600 600 dollars there is a set, but then you don't get all the colors and all the uh, different widths. 
and shapes. So that's the whole thing. So you don't have to be really good about this. You just put it on there. So that's that. Now, now we're going to get our leaves. Let's see. We're, oh, that's a bit big now. See that? That's good that we did this. So oh, it's too, really too big. Can't do that. I don't think so. Normally you could, but I'm not sure because, hmm, we want to keep that. No, that's not going to work. So we're going to go to the little tiny, tiny little leaves. That's one. And I think we're even going to go for a little bit smaller leaves. Can you hear my dog? I think someone came in. I think I have a guest. We'll have to look. This one could be a little bit bigger though. Now nah, let's keep it all the same size. Maybe that's kind of quirky too because in nature you don't have them all the same size. So we'll just see how that works. Oops, that's another one. A tiny one down here. I think it's gonna work out. I'm not making it myself really easy because I have to white out the background and I have to go between all these little little things. I think I'll even make a smaller leaf. All you have to do is fold it double Get your little scissors and there you have a leaf well, it's, <laughs> it's, it's just as big <laughs> sorry guys has to be smaller okay this one's smaller see that oh, yeah that's nice so we're gonna put one down here and this just makes it a lot easier than doing it with by hand. And the advantage is you can put your little little thing down here and see if you like it. And then you just trace it and it's there. So maybe you just should do it like this anyway. Okay. Maybe a tiny one here. Because I do want a lot of that background because I like the background. We didn't make it for nothing just to cover it all up. Okay. Now, yeah, maybe one here. We have to get a little bit in balance. See, and now the good thing, because this one's going down, so I'd have to make the flower coming down. But if you don't want to, what we can do is just take it off that bit. See that? So we're gonna bring it up. We're gonna go that way. So now I can put a flower on top. So flower there, and I'm gonna do the same with this one. This one's gonna go up here. Flower up here, and this one's gonna go that way. Flower up there. And that's about it. Now, flowers. You could, you know, print out, um, if you go on Google and you go uh, put in flowers, black and white, clip art, something like that. You'll get the right type of flower you want. And then you can just, um, you know, cut them out, print, cut out. But I'm going to do it right now because otherwise I have to go inside and I don't want to do that. And that's about big enough. That's about big enough. Yeah, this is it. So what I would like is... Let's put that away a bit. Get my little rusty little pen. Now we're going to have a middle, of course, and then we're going to do these big childlike flowers. Oh, and I think I have to get a new Posca. Something like that. That's what we're going to do. So. 
again, this time we're going to cut them out a little with a little bit more delicacy. There we go. Oh, maybe it was the postman because I ordered something. And not for me, for uh, for my husband. So here we are. There we are. Okay. So when we put that on, that's kind of this the size I was going for. So we're gonna do that. And what I was going to say is you really do need a acrylic marker, I think, because um, it's sort of, you know, you can draw on anything with an acrylic marker. Oh, that's kind of nice without that thing. In the, and we need something in the middle. We'll just do that in the middle. So you really do need uh, this because this paints on anything. And like I said, these are two layers of uh, acrylic binder, which is kind of really like varnish. So it's pretty hard to let something else draw on this. And that's gonna, not going to work up there. So we're going to make it, see this is the good thing. Now you can make it a little bit smaller. But you'll have to go right around it. But that's no problem. And down there. Okay, that'll work. Now I'm sort of treating it like it, it has to be really, really beautiful straight away. But I told you guys, you know, this is just checking out the technique and seeing if I like it and seeing if I want to make a big one. And now I think it needs one there too. Nah, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so we got them all on there. And now the fun part starts almost. I'm going to clean up first. I need some, some room. Now, when you have this, when you're at this stage of the painting, there's a lot of things you can do. Because the stem, I'll get a, a Q-tip. So the stem, you want it to be more brown. So what you can do, oh, more brown, more green. So what you can do is give it a little bit more green. And I'm doing this right now with a Q-tip, but you could do it with anything you like. that. I'm going to come back in with a, an even lighter color. There we go. Yes. And this is a uh, permanent green light. We're gonna put a little bit in there and put a little bit of light here and there. Because the, uh, oh, am I, is my head in the way? I think so. Because that's the stem. And the leaves I'm gonna leave like the background. But the stem has to pop a little bit. And what I'm doing now, that goes for those flowers too. So you can, you already see that they're, you know, more popping up a little bit more. And with the flowers, we're going to make those really 
really bright. I'm going to put yellows and really hot pink. So I think that's about it. Wait a minute. We need this one needs a little bit more. There you go. Okay, that's that's as far as we're going to go. I'll be right back because I'm going to do the flowers, but I need a little bit more room because I need different colors paint, so be back in a bit. Okay, um, now I'm going to do the flowers. What I need is a little bit of water. I'll just spritz it down there. And what we're going to do is just, for the flowers, we're just going to dab it on just like this, just a little bit. And we're going to make them just have a lot of color. Because that's the whole thing about this type of painting. It has to be colorful and pretty, you know, for the effect. So everyone can do this. This is, you do not need some sort of raw artist talent. <laughs> but sometimes I, I'm, I'm so funny. Um, you don't really need really a lot of talent to do this because it's just coloring in between the lines. But as you can see, there, it's already starting to look really, you know, fun and pretty. You don't have to make sure that everything is covered because that just adds to the uh, overall fun look of it. Maybe just make sure that you do have the petals, that they are round. Okay, a little bit up here, oops. Got a little bit jittery down there. And you could really do it really neatly, even, you know, use the colors to make some sort of a shadow coming from one side, but I don't know, I, I think this is okay. Here we have to go over those lines. Don't you think it's an it's a nice color for the background? <laughs> I do. I think it's pretty. And then a little bit more of the light color. A little bit more of that pink. And the the center we can do that later. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the center because I just might make that really like little dots. We might do some dot painting on that. Give it a little bit more up here. Now this is going to take a little bit longer to dry because it's pretty thick. But I think that, you know, just adds to the uh, overall look. Yeah, it needs a little bit more of the light color here. That one too. Yeah. So the next one, well, the last one. First, I'm going to do the, make sure that I have the petals will be a little bit in shape, if you know what I mean. Then it's easier to dab the paint in there. So we're going to give it a little bit more up here. This one is, you know, I'm only using two colors, but we're going to make it pop in a bit.
oops not too thick or I'll, I'll have to wait all weekend for it to dry I don't know, I just might try to finish it. Okay, that's enough of that. A little bit of light up here. Okay, they look the same, pretty much. Maybe a little bit up here. Okay, they look pretty much the same. So that's it. We're going to stop with that. Clean off the brush. Now, the, uh, the part down here, what I want to do is give it a, a sort of a glaze. So what I did is um, I used mixing white. Winsor & Newton has two uh, whites. One is titanium white, one is mixing white. And the difference between the two is the opacity. So the titanium is opaque and this one is uh, semi and that's why you can use this to sort of glaze because you see that you still see the the underlying painting so you don't have to get the Windsor and Newton just get a sort of it is um, other brands call it sink white just look at the opacity thing on the uh, on your jar thing or tube or whatever you buy I'll show you in a bit. I'll just finish this off. Now, another uh, word of caution is don't paint really neatly because the charm of this whole technique is because it's sort of, yeah, I don't know. It's like someone did it that isn't really good at painting. So, so <laughs> that's sort of the charm of the whole technique. So I'm gonna go down there. Of course, I'm not going to leave those stripes in there. Okay. Here we are. I'm going to keep that there. So now it's sort of... It's kind of nice. It, it sort of goes back in the background when you glaze it a little bit. That's it. That's enough. See, if, if it's not enough, you can always add another one. Okay, guys, I'm going to let this dry, and then I'll be back. Okay, right now I think it is dry enough. So I'm going to get my brush. Now, now you have to decide what the background is going to be. Is it going to be white? Is it going to be blue? I want to make it really dark. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like it. And uh, the thing is that... It is, um, this is semi-transparent. What you do want to do is, you know, get it a little bit neat where it gets between the, uh, the leaves. But other than that, it doesn't have to be really, really neat. Now, even if you do your brush strokes like this and it, it sort of gives you those blotchy sort of things that's okay because that's the technique so you don't really want it to be too tight so you do like this and that's why everyone can do this because you don't have to have these uh, techniques, you know, brushing and all that kind of stuff. You don't have to be really good about it. So, only where it really matters, that's where you be careful that you just... There it goes. So I'm going to do a little bit. I'm just going to do this side and then I'm going to... Um, do it offline because otherwise you're gonna and I can't speed it up I don't know what it is I just have don't have the good software to do that normally I just do it and then speed the whole bit up but I don't have the I can speed up a little bit but that's it I can't speed up a really bit like like 15 minutes of video don't know why that is 
So I'll just go around here. Now this is really relaxing and um, this is also something that you could do, you know, just because it's fun to do, not because it's really artsy. Well, it is artsy. <laughs> Jesus, I don't know what I have this this weekend. But it is artsy, but you know what I mean. You know, it's just like, you don't have to think about it a lot. It's just, it's all about um, following the steps and then just coloring in between the lines. Like that. Just make sure that you have where, where it really matters that it's tight, tight on your little lines. Okay, guys, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to bore you to death. Probably you are already, but <laughs> I don't care. Oh, boy. Okay. I'll just uh, do this offline. I'll be right back. And now... What I really want to show is that if the background, if you find it too dark, you all you have to do is get a little bit of uh, water, you get a little bit of, and you just sort of dab. See how now some of that stuff is coming through? Just dab it here and there, and you can lift some of it off. That's only if you find it just a little bit too um, too solid, which which I did. I did think it was a little bit too solid. You just go in and take a little bit off where you want to take it off. And this only is possible because there's this binder stuff underneath. So it's easy to take it off again. See, you can see it a little bit better if I do this. Just take it off where you want to take it off. In the middle here too a little bit. Oh, that's a little bit too much I think. Uh, that's okay. See, now it's just a little bit less solid, and it looks like just a little bit more like it was meant to be. Okay, now we have that part done. Now all we really have to do is do the, uh, the table, which I was planning on doing in a solid color, a light color. So... And you don't want it to be too nice and neat, so do it a little bit like you think it just looks okay, but it's not too overly painted, right? We're going to put another color in there too, just to give it a little bit more of a pop. Otherwise, again, it, it will be just a little bit too solid. So I'm going to do this as the bottom. Now, you can do other things here too. You could even get another stencil and um, and stencil a pattern in it. That's about it. Okay. Maybe it would be kind of nice to do a stencil, but then I'll have to stop the video again. Well, let's do that. I'm going to dry dry this up, then I'm going to get another stencil, and then we're going to um, do the centers of the flowers. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, while we're at it, um, I thought I just might want to do a really light little glaze thing over it. like that just to make it a little bit more messy looking I'm missing the the, the messy the messy look yeah, 
that looks a little bit better yeah okay down here it's ready and I'm going to get another stencil I kind of like this but it's a little bit big but it might work let's see if I can I haven't used this one yet so we'll cut it Get it out. Yeah, I think that'll that'll work. And we're gonna do that in the same as the background color because I kind of like that. So load up the brush and just dab it on a little bit because it doesn't really. I, I don't want it to be too stencily. Just a little. Oops, that's a little bit too thick, but we'll see what happens. And of course, you, you should be dabbing this with something else, not a brush. But like I said, this is all just, you know, Checking out this technique, if we're going to like it, if we're going to do something more with it. Yeah, that's okay. That looks kind of cute. See, that's it. A little bit down here. Yeah, I, I really like that. Now I want to do the background with white. <laughs> oh, that would look cool, wouldn't it? Let's see, or with a light blue, really light blue. That would really look good. Let's see if we can do that. Scoop up a little bit, bit of blue. And if it, if it doesn't work, we can always take it off. Just a hint of background. Just see how this works. Not too much. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's a, that's a little bit too much. Probably because I didn't do it right. Because I'm just jabbing it on here. Nah, it makes it look a little bit too busy. So I'm gonna take that off. Let's take it off like that. But we still have that glazy thing going on there, so that's gonna be okay. But see, you can just try something out. If it doesn't work out, you just leave it and uh, go to the next bit. Now the only uh, bit that we have left is our um, centers of our flowers, which I'm going to make really sort of pop with a lot of paint. That's that one. I was going to do them with like a dot, dot technique, but I think this is okay. And then I'll make a, a few pictures outside so you can really see the colors. Because I think the, uh, the colors in here are a little bit off than what they really are. There it is. That's okay. That's more than enough. Okay, guys. This is it. That's the technique. And you can do all kinds of stuff with it. And um, I'll give a few examples at the end of this video. Uh, people who also use this technique, but do it, of course, a little bit better than this because they've been at it longer, but I'll show you. So uh, this is it. Thanks for watching. See the examples, and I'm going to wish you all a beautiful weekend. And uh, maybe next week I'll be back. Not sure, because uh, I don't want to pin myself down 
you know, making promises I can't keep. So, uh, see you when I see you guys. Love you all to pieces. Bye.